Okay, so I'm gonna show you this now. So normally in SPM, right, we do like simultaneous, okay, your matrix level one, or maybe substitution elimination, right? SPM level normally, normally, they will talk about this thing, right? They will say something like total here la, total there la. Seldom uh, they come up something which is not so total. For example, the question six that uh, Kelly mentioned. Kelly mentioned, right? Uh, question six about that H related one. Right? That one, uh, that one, there is one total instead of two totals. Because in 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 this 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 uh, simultaneous situation, right? You need to form two equations, right? Uh, two two equations normally total comes up with the answer really. Right? Okay, let me read like question one and separate two main points. You two first get the total. That's the SPM hint. Okay, first get the total. Okay, next identify the correct unknowns. Okay, identify the correct unknowns title. That's the main thing. Okay, why not I read the whole thing first and I tell you what's the meaning of total and the uh, uh, the title. Okay, so. A total of 925. Eh? A total. Can you see total? Right? Total. I've been repeating this word. And then we're sold for 5925. That's the total again. 5925. Can you see the two totals there? But you have to separate it very, very carefully. 925 is the number of tickets. 5925 is the one. It's the price the total sales right now if adult tickets cost 750 cents and children ticket cost three ringgit looks like you have the price already can you see i emphasize it you have the price already so when you do a certain question right in i mean in when you talk to yourself in when, when you're solving a certain question that's how you express it you know okay i have the price huh? i have the price then the next question of course, in your exam, you don't express so intense. Lah. It's just that within yourself, lah. that's how you express it. So how many tickets of each kind were sold? My first, uh, my second question to everybody. First question is about total. You have every 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 single thing you need for total. You have the 925 as the total number of tickets and you have your 5925 as the price. Uh, the total sales, the price. Huh? Okay, now. Can you tell me how many tickets of each kind were sold? What's the two unknowns indicating? Of course, okay, for, for my case, uh, I'll be using X and Y. Okay, I'll be using X and Y. But my question to everybody, X represents what? I say it again, uh, I know it's the adult. Why I know it's the children, but it's the adult what? That's the important title. You need to separate it nicely. You cannot say any, you cannot tell me uh, something like X is the adult. Nah. I know. Everybody knows that. I know why it's the children, but what's the correct title to let X? Uh, the X. What is it about? I see I see students uh, saying adults money. Mm. You see that at 750 cents already, that's funny, right? Then students say uh, adult ticket. Specific a bit, not specific enough. Ah, so I tell you a specific one, huh? I get the price, right? I get the price already. X is the number of ticket sold for adult. Yes, adult tickets amount, amount as in the number of tickets, uh, amount, it might be in RM. So maybe uh, for Haikal case, right? You mentioned adult tickets amount, you bracket units. Uh, maybe say number of tickets, uh, something like this. So you can write number of tickets. So this is what I mean by SPM level. They give you the total. But of course, like what I mentioned, normally they give you paper line. Uh, they put paper, look, make the whole thing like so formal. Wow. Yeah, something like this. Wow. Uh, so many things, uh, you know. Oh, it's the same thing. Uh, okay, total, total. You see the CPM and then you that total. Total. Okay. So normally it will be like equal to 68, equal to 30 something like that. So I mean it's in, from the previous questions. Huh? Okay, then over here it will be the number of children. Eh, sorry, I missed out the word. Huh? Number of adult tickets. So this one is number of children tickets. So, so my first equation will be x plus y. Because 925 is the number of tickets. Ah. 
student might say a like, teacher uh, early early also I write the whole thing already so what point you're going to write so detailed on the lab x and that why why that that's why I say when you come to the hard one right you need to make sure you are very specific on the unknowns then you will be able to clear it okay so this part right it will be what it will be uh 7 get 50 cents sorry okay 7 get 50 cents times x lah. 750 cents is one adult ticket times the number of tickets sold. Total price, uh, total sales for adults. And then, uh, 2 ringgit times y. Then you get the whole thing really. Okay, but I said that I'm going to use matrix method and solve it, right? Why not we try it? Okay? So, of course, um, next, uh, I mean, it's in our form, the, I form the whole thing out. The solving part, okay, solving part, I'm not uh, handling the whole thing out. So everyone, the last question is equation only, then I will stop. Equation only, then I will stop. Huh? Okay, now. So we discuss one simultaneous, okay, on how to form up to your matrix, then I will stop. Huh? It, right? Nah, nah, nah. This one, game one. Okay, a moving company is hired to take 578. Wow, total again. Clay pots to a flourish shop. The florist will pay the moving company to Can you see price come out right here? Two different things. One is number of clay pots. One is RM. Two different things. Okay? But of course the RM is still not the total yet. Okay, so I read the whole thing first. So the florist will pay the moving company 200 E. Okay? Plus RM1 for every pot that is uh, delivered safely. Okay? So everyone, do you notice there is one unknown there? What is that unknown? Why not I tell you lah? Huh? The unknown is, can you tell me lah? Can you tell me lah? Huh? How many pots delivered safely? How I know? They didn't say also. Uh, they didn't say means unknown no? So my first unknown, I put X lah. Huh? So normally I'll put let X in. So it will be the number of pots Okay, that are delivered safely. Okay, ignore my English, my English is very subtle. Okay, so next, uh, okay. so that's my first unknown, you know, okay, how many pots delivered safely. And then the moving company must pay the florist RM4 each for any pot that is broken. So it means uh, the, the, the moving company has to be paid. Uh, Okay, must be paid out. So let y equals to number of pots. Okay, that are broken. Okay, so students, can you see I separate it nicely? Student might ask me this thing, like teacher, in SPM, right? Because Kelly asked me this. He said that teacher, do I have to write this detail in my SPM? The answer is if you want to write all these things, it's fine. Right? Your final answer, you're gonna write it specifically. After you get your answer right, you have to put it there like um, how many how many pots are delivered safely, how many pots are you broken, you have to write that. If not, you write it over here, then you just leave it as your x one uh, So it's up to you. Uh, so you write it over here or you write it final. Okay? So up to you. As long as your teacher know what is x and y. Okay, so I get these two things ready. And then, uh, okay, I notice that it says, uh, uh, I read the whole thing one more time, uh, very fast enough. The forest will pay movie company 200 plus one ringgit for every pot delivered safely. The moving company must pay Floris RM4 for any pot which, are broken, uh, which is broken. And the rest are delivered safely, they are normal. Lah. If the florist paid, oh, the florist paid 748. Total, get the final amount paid. Lah. So, the thing comes in ready. Can you see this is the price? 200 is the first payment, right? Every pot delivered safely one ringgit, one times x la. But one times x still x, right? So you plus with x. This is what you have to pay. The florist have to pay, right? And then, uh, if let's say the movie company breaks, okay, break like any pots la, I have to repay four ringgit. It means you have to minus off the amount, la, okay? So I have to minus what? Four ringgit times any pot broken. Why? La? Uh, so some of you might say, teacher, can I just bring the 200 over? Yes! You bring the 200 over, then you minus it already, uh, minus 200. Uh, then you get a new, new, new number here, 548. Uh, then, why not you quickly type for me? Uh, quickly, uh, 
the 578, what you're gonna write? Why not? Delivered safely broke uh pots plus broken pots 578 lah. That's the total pots. Okay, that's the answer. Okay, bye bye. No problem. Bye.